Thanks for taking the time to watch Econ Tech Tips. Today we're going to be talking about how to properly read a differential marking pattern on your gears. Setting up a ring and pinion in your differential can be very daunting sometimes. In fact, it's pretty intimidating. So Yukon has created an instruction booklet that has some pattern examples and some tips and tricks to make things a little easier along the way. When you're trying to read a pattern on a ring and pinion, what you're looking for is actually not the paint itself, but the void in the paint and see where the gears wipe the paint off. So you want to mark the gears in a couple of different spots along this. For clarity, we've marked the whole thing. But in your case, you're going to want to do two or three teeth and a couple spots on the gear set just to make sure that it didn't change in one or two places. When you go through, you want to roll the pinion back and forth across the teeth, and that's going to wipe the paint away, and then you look for the pattern. In an ideal pattern, you want to have it centered between the top and bottom of the tooth and between the heel and the toe of the tooth. So ideally, dead center is perfect. In some gears, like a two-step gear, you can get a weird pattern that kind of shoots off at an angle or is even way out on the toe or way out on the heel, but the key is really just to have it centered between the top and the bottom. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this Yukon Tech Tip on how to read your differential pattern. If you have any questions on this subject or any other questions, please call 1-800-330-2206.